Okay, now I've got my strike water. I, it just pretty much timed out just right to uh, be the same temperature as what I needed for the mash uh, at about the same time as I got the grinding done. So, uh, here we are, 171. Uh, I'm looking for 153. It's a little cool in this shop, so I'm going to put it in there now. I'm not going to have all that good a view here, but I got quite a bit of stuff to get done. Okay, all this this mash is going in here. And if you stir it up a bit, I think it's going to take a lot of stirring this. Is doesn't look like it's going to clump up much. I want to be pretty quick at this because I could cool it off too much. I can actually, I can add a little bit more water if I need to, but it's getting a little thicker now. It smells kind of neat. They call this doughing in, and really all I'm trying to do is make sure that the grains are pretty much covered by water and there's no clumping of it. Okay, now I'm going to put a temperature probe in there so we can see what the temperature is. I'm a little afraid I'm going to be a little bit low. I do want 153. As I was afraid of, I'm a little bit low, so I'm going to have to quick heat some water. And because uh, I'm at 149 right now. Yeah, 149. I'm about uh, four degrees off. So I'm going to bump up a probably not more than a quarter to a water to put in there. The nice thing about having this big burner took about three minutes to get that couple of quarts of water boiling. So now I'm going to put it in the mash tun. Okay, things have been a little hectic so I haven't uh, been recording much. Uh, this is a problem I've had before and I'm still trying to work this out. Uh, if I want 153 degrees, and that's what the recipe calls for, I'm at 154.6 right now, and I think I'm going to leave it there because we're in probably 20 minutes into the hour, and so it is going to drop a little bit. Okay, uh, you pour your water in, and the first batch I did, they said put it in 167, that'll get you... 153 when you put your grains in because the grains absorb heat too. Well, it dropped like a stone, it was way too low. So I had to add water to it, higher temperature water, to get it to the right temperature. Okay, so this time I went 172 because I thought that'll, that'll take care of it. Well, it still didn't take care of it. I was about 149, uh, 148, I think, uh, when I put the grains in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I had to add, I had to take what is my sparge water. Now, sparge water is what I'm going to add to this after the grains have turned to sugar. 
I'll explain that in a little bit. But, uh, so I took some of my sparge water, heated it up real quick. Good thing I got a big freaking burner there. Starts it boiling in like two minutes. And I had to add about a gallon of water at about boiling to get to this. Uh, now let's see, it went off on me. It says uh, 154.8. Okay, it's supposed to be 153. I think that's going to level out okay. But you kind of have these things happen. I, I'm going to start putting hotter and hotter water in this. 